And finally, before England football fans get too excited about their World Cup draw, cautionary words from some transatlantic giant killers of the past. Then, as now, England and America were drawn in the same group. Then, as now, England were favourites to win. But football is a funny old game, isn't it? And as our correspondent John Irvine reports from the United States, the message echoing across the Atlantic is, remember 1950. I was intercepting that ball right before it was coming to you, I think. Frank and Harry, an undertaker and a postman, but also the goalkeeper and the right back in the USA World Cup side of 1950. They were very pessimistic going into the England match. After all, in their previous seven internationals, the Americans had conceded a total of 45 goals. That's an average of more than six a game. I was hoping to hold them down to four or five goals. <laughs> An England squad that included Matthews, Finney and Wright had been hailed by the Brazilian press as the kings of football. But time and again, Frank Borghi pulled off great saves and eventually, to the delight of the local crowd, it was the Americans who scored the one and only goal. We got the, the, the winning goal with about 20 minutes to go in the games. So we, you know, we kind of shored up everything and you know everybody played a little harder and you know and things just came out our way here's frank being carried off the pitch shoulder high later they met up with the english players who despite the ignominious defeat were gracious gentlemen and they were very cordial and they were very nice to us I mean, we talked you know so I, I, they were nice Ironically, one of the greatest sporting upsets went largely unreported because many English newspapers thought the scoreline was a typing error. Not surprisingly, Hollywood found this tale of triumphant underdogs irresistible. The movie is called The Miracle Match. Frank and Harry like it, but of course it's no substitute for their memories of what was fantasy football come true. One nil to the United States. John Irvine, ITV News in the United States. Do we really need to be reminded of that? <laughs> Probably not. That uh, is tonight's ITV News at 10. That was then. This is now. Coming next, the national weather and the news from your part of the UK, but from Mary and from me. Good night. And good thank night. you for watching.